Hey everyone, uh, this is Sam. I'm doing a new review today of Trick or Treat, the um, the new kind of straight to DVD horror film that came out a couple of years ago. I thoroughly enjoyed this film. Just going to do a quick review. And um, seeing as this month is October, I was thinking of doing a couple of horror film reviews instead of like just random other films. This film is made by the people that made X Men Two and Superman Returns. Um, Superman Returns isn't one of the best films ever made, but X-Men 2, in my opinion, is one of the best superhero films that has been made ever so far. Um, probably followed up shortly by X-Men First Class, but yeah, that's another, that's another video. The way this film is made is similar to Creep Show or The Tales on the Crypt, um, which is a brilliant kind of genre and like subgenre in the horror genre. I really enjoy films that have different stories that somehow interweave. I mean, Creature, the stories don't interweave at all. It's just like the part of a comic book, which I really enjoyed that film because it just takes you, it isn't as intense, well, it's still intense, but it isn't, but moving on from each story it just refreshes the film, which I think is what this film here is really good about. It has four different parts in it, all of them are interweaving. And the first um, has the, the head teacher of a school and um, his psychotic killing. And that you, you see about you see this for about ten minutes. I mean, this bit isn't the best bit of the film, but it's a good opening. It's got a bit of gore. It's quite good actually. Quite weird. The second one is the um, the story of a teenage girl who is a virgin who wants to get laid. She goes out with a group of her friends and finds a stranger um, to get laid with, and that story takes the biggest turn. You are not, you won't expect it. It's kind of like a new take on the Red Riding Hood kind of thing. And the special effects in that scene are brilliant. You, you get like when I first saw it, I was really confused. I didn't know what was happening, but as soon as you realise, and it's just like, oh, no, no, that that shouldn't happen. You know, that that was never going to happen brilliant like you don't expect it the third section of this film and the best section for horror is the most creepy thing I've seen in a while it's uh, the story of uh, a, gr a little group of teens that have gone trick-or-treating tell a story of some other um, deranged mental institution children that were in a bus that got thrown off a cliff into this quarry and um, you see the story and it's like creepy music and all the children in, the, in this bus have creepy masks on. They're all like talking to themselves and like clicking their teeth and really really well shot and well really really creepy. And the story is that uh, these um, these this, the, the children that are telling the story take, tell the story to this one girl and then they take her down into the quarry for a bit of Halloween fun, scare the crap out of her. That takes a turn for the worst. I won't spoil it because I don't want to. Um, but that is one of the most creepy things I've seen in a while. It's well shot, well edited. The music in it is amazing, and you really do feel scared for these characters. The um, fourth part of this film, uh, I think, is the story of an old man played by Brian Cox, who's in his house at Halloween, and he starts to get haunted by this demon. Um, if you can see it on the front cover. Um, from over the box, that little guy, um, like with the little slap over his head with a bag, he ends up haunting Brian Cox. Now you find out who Brian Cox's character is in relation to the rest of the film beforehand, um, but you only realise it now in the last section of the film. And there is a big kind of creepy chase sequence with Brian Cox and his monster, and it's really, really scary. Um, like the, the monster, like. It's like dragging a thing along the floor, it's like giggling, and there's like brighting and blood all over his house, and it was really well shot, well, well filmed. The tenseness in this bit section is kind of um, ruined when the thing takes off its mask, but all in all, this section of the film is quite good. This is probably the third best section of the film. The first best section being the third one is the most creepy, um, the second being The Virgin, which is shocking. The third one being this one, which is exciting, and the first one just being the least amazing, but still very good, 
opening to the film, which kind of sets it sets the ball rolling like the standard for the horror that you're going to see. Um, all in all, I think this film is absolutely amazing. I picked it up for about three quid like a year ago. Um, it's a straight to DVD film. I don't believe it came out in the cinema in the UK. It could have come out in America, but I'm not sure. Um, I th I'd say I'd highly, highly recommend this film. It's one of the best um, horror films that I own. I think. Um, yeah, this was a hidden gem. I just picked it up. The guy on the front cover looked cool, so I thought, why not watch it? Now this will be the film to watch on Halloween, I think. I mean, it isn't it isn't overly scary, but it's a brilliant film. Um, I probably will be reviewing Halloween later on in this month. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this film a nine out of ten. This was such a hidden gem. Picked it up for cheap. It's a it said the winner of an audience choice award at Screen Fest, so it was shown there. Um, this film is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend watching it or picking it up cheap. That's what I did. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Be quiet. Why? You'll bother the neighbors. Okay. Check your candy.